You have been resident teachers here at Feaster for some few months. Can you tell us about your um, daily campus here at Feaster? I am a second grade student teacher, so I'm in second grade with Miss Sinski and Miss Hernandez, but right now we have Miss Renteria because Miss Hernandez just had a baby. So it's been really cool being able to work with second grade. I am here in fifth grade with Miss Arismendi and it's been great. Yeah, I love it so far. I've uh, been here uh, with Ms. Galacia and Mr. Patrick uh, in the uh, third grade classroom and it's been really cool being there with them. What made you want to become a resident teacher here at Fiesta Charter? I was actually still here so I wanted to come back and see if I can. I wanted to be the teacher that I had so I think maybe I'm getting there hopefully. <laughs> uh, in my case, I was recommended to be here. Um, I had a friend that used to work here, so she recommended the school, the staff, and the students that how awesome they are. And yeah, it's been great so far. Uh, in my case, I became really interested in the programs that the school offers, especially in the STEAM and technology classes. We are very glad to have you all here. Can you please share a memorable moment from your time here at Feaster? In my case, my I have plenty of memorable moments, uh, but my favorite one was when we present we did a presentation on the Hispanic Heritage Month um, celebration, and we had to sing and dance the song by Selena. Yeah, what's the song? Do you remember? Uh, oh. Yes. Carcacha, carcacha, oh. carcacha. Yeah, that was fun. Um, for me, it would be just being welcomed with open arms into the classroom and into the school too. And I think all the memories that we've had, like seeing the kids dance for the Falca de Mes and like the Hispanic characters runs, I think it's been very fun being able to bond with the kids like that. Yes, definitely. Same here. Um, I have a lot of memories that I, I really cherish, but, but my favorite one has been the Kermes. It was really cool to see the whole community come together. Thank you for being on this episode. We are excited to see you on campus. Thank, Thank you. you. We're excited to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome to this episode of After for Everyone. We are here with a few of our resident teachers. We are excited to Miss Torres and Mr. Villanueva. Hi, thank Hi you for everyone. having us. <laughs> Can you all please tell us what inspired you to be a teacher? Um, for me, I think being able to help um, young children uh, make their their impact in school and in, in society. So, you know, if I'm able to help out a student out and knowing how to um, um, deal with problems in math, science, um, language arts, all that kind of stuff. So, mainly the helping aspect of it. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, I never thought of becoming a teacher, honestly. Um, but actually, taking a class uh, for community college, that's what um, being in the classroom helped me know that I want to work with students and help them, uh, and mostly bilingual students that come from other places of the world. We are very glad to have you all here. Can you please share a memorable moment from your time here at Feaster? I think so far the most memorable <coughs> moment would be the Kermes. Uh, you know, seeing the community get together, um, seeing everybody have fun and be safe. It was definitely a uh, life-changing experience. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I guess it would be the literature parade. Um, that's what um, I saw a lot of you actually dressing up and participating and that was something that I really liked about you that you guys get into it and actually do what the school um, plans. Thank you so much for joining us. We are excited to continue learning from you all. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having us. Thank you for sharing. 
and welcome to the Fun Creek, where we are asking our Beaster Falcons what their favorite moment from this week was. Can you share your favorite moment? My favorite moment of this week was probably the literature parade. It was really fun to everyone's costume. Thank you for sharing. Zoe, and welcome to the Fun Creek, where we are asking our Beaster Falcons what their favorite moment from this week was. Can you share your favorite moment? My favorite moment from this week was seeing everybody dress up in their costumes. Some of them even made me laugh. Thank you for sharing. Hello, Jonathan, and welcome to the Falcon. We are asking our Feaster Falcons about their favorite moment from this week. Can you share your favorite moment? My favorite mo moment is on class. Okay, thank you for sharing. Hello, Yaniti, and welcome to the Falcon Report. We are asking our Feaster Falcons about their favorite moment from this week. Can you share your favorite moment? My favorite moment was probably the Halloween parade because I got to see everyone's costumes. They were really cool. Thank you for sharing it. Yes. Can you please tell us what the question of the week is? Ooh, I'm glad you asked, Yadiel. Ready? Here, this is one inch right here. It's about the size of a knuckle. You see that? That is one inch. The question is, how many total inches is Mr. Samaniego in height? How tall is Mr. Samaniego? This is a ruler. This is 12 inches. Look at this. Right here. You hold it that is 12 inches. How many inches total is Mr. Samaniego in height? How tall is Mr. Samaniego in inches? From front of 1406.